All right, hello and good evening. We're gonna be playing Carto again tonight. Just for like an hour before bed, I think. I love these kind of puzzle games. That and I'm most of the way through this playthrough. I still have not found any of the secrets, which is frankly shameful, but oh well. Maybe don't hum the freaking copyrighted music. Oh, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right in a brand new little environment, have gone through a tunnel. So much forest to explore, yes. Wander around until we find something. Ooh, little stream. Cool. Can't go across. Dang. Well, Guess we'll have to find another way. Yes, I know there's a thing over there, but I saw some colors. Alrighty. And here we are. Where is it that we are? I am not entirely sure. Very cool. There's just no way to get to it right at this moment. Let's go say hello. Lovely little feline companion is hanging out next to me. Hi, BB. Oh, she doesn't like that I bother her. She doesn't like that I bother her toes. Well, too bad. Anyway. After being let out of the wildwood, the little cartographer arrived at a strange building hidden amongst the trees. She followed her curiosity inside and picked up the first book that she saw. Just then, the story tender entered. be confused with the dessert wing, which is sadly still under construction. Mm, I bet you that's our grandma. Writing room, I see. It was sand as far as the eye could see. It was inescapable between your sheets, on your skin, in your sandwiches. When the sandstorms were at the most fierce, whole camps would be buried. Routes leading back to the grassland and other neighboring regions would disappear. These paths could be found again by intrepid adventurers, or at times, unwitting wanderers. Which one are we, I wonder? The desert could be a harsh place, and was home to a resilient, nomadic people. The shifting sands were a way of life, often confounding the flora and fauna. And within the tumult, a wizened woman searching for her granddaughter. They had been separated by a storm and yearned to be together. Oh, here's a little cactus. Hello, little cactus. Can I go in here? Cannot. Uh, I can fix that. <laughs> Yeah. 
So this one has no stairs, so it has to go on the top. We're just gonna put you here and then just do that. Let's see what's in here. Uh, it's the writing room. Cool. Hi, bud. A book lies open on the desk. Nearby, a typewriter taps steadily on its own. Spooky. It is kind of spooky, to be honest. The people served an essential function to chart the lands, noting any changes and shifts over time and memorial. They traveled by airship, quietly observing from high above, rarely disturbing the people below. Their navigation skills were peerless, passed down through the collective memory of their ancestors. That's us. Simply, they were cartographers by trade and by blood. Kind of weird reading books about yourself, but... job is to tend the stories, and that's good enough for me. If you'd like to know more about the story chalet, this is the room for it. Keep some of my other favorites here, too. Deep in the forest, in an unmemorable corner, sits the story chalet. This peculiar building can be tricky to find when you're looking for it, but easy to stumble across when you aren't. It houses a remarkable library of books overseen and cataloged by a story tender. These mysterious tomes are endlessly updated by an unseen hand, documenting stories and cultures around the world. The building itself is an architectural marvel with a deceptively simple facade that obscures its more sophisticated interior. Yes, small cactus. Like small cactus. Do 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 do. Uh, if I go downstairs, where's that? And that's the lobby. All right, cool. Anything back here? Those ink as well. All right. Let me read what those are. Do, 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 do. We go. Ooh, very green. Nomads of the grasslands. Nomads by nature, the people of the grassland typically migrate once a generation. They travel to barren lands bearing seeds and ancient irrigation techniques. The grasslanders are deeply attuned to their flora, listening to the voice of the earth and coaxing its growth through song. Oh, the cabbage lady that we met last time. By the time the next generation migrates, the land they leave behind is a fertile paradise. Grasslanders found endless ways of improving their lives through clever application of plants. Using an amalgam of different rubber plants, they created a new type of footwear. These magic boots could be stretched to fit any sized foot and raise the running speed of its wearers. The last known pair awaits someone bold enough to sport them. Somewhere in the grasslands wing of basement two of the story chalet. All right. Popular grassland campfire songs. Good night, sleepy sheepy. Sympathy for red devils. Ganga style. Ballad of the sour potato. Begonia bop. Oh, uh, these are great. All right, so we got a basement two. This is the lobby. That's basement one at that point, I think. Well, let's get out of this room first. And also see if I'm correct about the basement thing. Nox, no, you're not allowed to be on tables. No, I know. Wait. Basement one. Okay, cool. I was correct. So... Ah. No, you have to be in it. I, I'm a dingus. Anyway. Do, 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 do. Let's just uh, pretend that didn't happen. Do. What happens if I just disconnect it entirely? Then what is it? Mystery floor. Awesome. My boots now. And now I can move more quickly. Awesome. With her 
fancy new boots, the little cartographer knew that nothing could stop her. She would head out to cross the river and find her way to the desert, where she hoped her grandmother waited. Awesome. Sounds good to me. I'm gonna talk to our librarian friend downstairs. Yes, in the basement. Do, 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 do. No. I want to talk to this guy. Well, cool. Alright. Is there anything else to do here? Or is it just... Bye, bud. Sprite. Oh, we did see the ghost lily. We just kind of gave it away. But. Yep. Hmm. All right. The shepherd who falls asleep and loses his sheep on a regular basis. Cool. All right. Not this way. Do not think. Oh, wait. Yeah, duh. all the way? Probably not. I'm gonna anyway. I also just kind of want to say hi to everybody because I don't think I did that last time. I think on my last playthrough I just kind of followed where I was supposed to go and skipped actually talking to everybody. Ghost lily hunting. Yeah. Unfortunate. And there's the cabbage lady. Ah, <laughs> oh, the cabbage lady. I can run faster now. It's nice. Oh, there he is. Hi, hon. No. We gave it away. Okay. Yes, 
They're right here. You didn't lose them this time. Most because you fell, fell asleep in their food patch. Just wake up covered in sand. Okay. So we gotta find somebody to... Probably just gonna talk to his dad. I go poke the sheep for absolutely no reason other than, you know, sheep. Bother the sheep. Hey. <laughs> okay. I guess teacher instead? Probably a good idea. <laughs> Excellent. to the river. Cool. Good to know. Thank you. In the center of a field of yellow leaves. Good to know. Yep. Dozing daisies. Cool. Right. So first... Need to rearrange for this. There we go. Hey. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go. Well, mouth of the river. for maybe Circle Road first. Hmm. Don't know that we have enough pieces to make a circle technically, but There we go. Cool. Cool. 
Thank you for the hints. Lot of interesting uh, map sections here. Because I can. Hmm. Actually. like to shuffle things around sometimes. Fun. Gonna leave it like that. Kiddo. Anything else around here? No, oh, just the sheep. And on we go. Can I have a drink? Ooh, I have a drink. Never said I was smart. Hello. Ooh. Alright, we got desert. Let's see what the desert has for us. <laughs> An even worse idea. Yes. Valid. Also nothing. Alright, well. Not 
entirely sure what I'm supposed to do, but I'm going to wander in a direction and see if that takes me anywhere. It does not look like it is going to. So, let's go back and talk to the lovely lady in the tent. Ah, uh, the sand. Oh, yep. Yeah, I noticed last time with the, um, the, the woods that we were in. When you're doing well on a puzzle, the notes, the chimes get higher. Yeah. Headed west across the desert. Excellent. area. Oh. Cool. Whoa. Some unusable vessels. Long abandoned tent. Ooh. Hello. All the footprints in the yellow sands. Make sure they connect. Captain. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. 90, negative 180, 270, negative 270, 90. So that's one to the right, two to the left, three to the right, three to the left, one to the right, I think. Right, double left, triple right, triple left, right. Okay, cool. like a shiny thing. Are there footprints in the sand on this section? No, just on the main portions. Alrighty, here we go.
Wrong direction. Let's try it. Yeah, there we go. Is a very dramatic camel. Hey, like, um, it's a dry coconut shell. Oh well. Well, if I know anything about this game wants out of me. Oh. Probably wants me to put the cacti together. Strange ruins, sisters. I'll meet you in the middle of them. I know I'm close. Close to the haven. Huh. <laughs> Learn nothing about cactuses. That's how you discover a secret, you bother cactuses. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh. All right, 
center of the strange ruins. Cool. Alright. Bring the camera back. Cool. Why am I moving these around? Is unclear. friend um what do you want to bet mm, maybe not all right oh what do i know yeah let's get you some water all right Her. She just needs water. Oh. Yeah, your captain is a bit on the dehydrated side. Yeah. Mm. Well, I've got a bucket. was chewing on a scarf. Always with the sand. sure that the captain doesn't die of, you know, lack of water. Come on. Let's get you hydrated. Sand beetle.
Would have sconded with it. Catch unless you can distract them somehow. I stole a bracelet right off my wrist once. Those wily devils are attracted to shiny things. I found a shiny thing. I need to pause for just a second. All right, and I make my return. Let's wander out into the desert, shall we? one. Who has appeared? <laughs> and this is where we lay our trap. my shiny thing back? No? Oh well. Nice. My cat is just looking at me like, excuse me, you could be petting me right now. <laughs> Don't we have snakes for that? This is what the book in the library was referring to about a grandma in a desert looking for her granddaughter. Not our grandma. Oh. Haven under the light, but which light? Ah, all right. Okay, well, if I had to hazard a guess, gate is there, which means we got sand there, sand there. What is it? Can I help you? Meow. I know. Yeah. Cool.
Now I think what I'm doing. Huh. Um, that's why you keep the cartographer on hand. Cat, what are you complaining about? What is it? Do you want love? Okay, here, I'll pet you. He's gonna not think too hard about that. That's, that's valid, to be honest. to all of these people, but also I don't know what's in the desert square that I haven't explored. Oh, hey. You gonna be a lap cat? <gasps> Yay! I have a lap cat. Oh my god. Aww. She's been sick and on antibiotics the last couple of days. is like right up in my face. It is a, an absolute pity that you cannot see her right now, because as I'm holding the controller, she's got her face right up in my elbow on my lap, and I don't think I'm allowed to move. In a boat. <laughs> magic stairs. Ooh, volcano. Oh, it's a little cactus patch. Oh, cool. I think I've bothered just about everyone. Except for the camels, and I can't bother the camels from here. Dang. Alright, well. I am really uncomfortable with the slouch, the slouch posture I have to sit in. For the cat to be laying on me like this, but I am legally not allowed to move.
secret piece. Oh yeah, I still have a worm. That is what it does. Water slides. That's great. keep poking the cacti because I learned absolutely nothing. Anything extra to say? No? Okay. Well, neat. Alright, on to the next portion, I think. Sorry, did my humming wake you? Oh. The pond. Okay then. Oh. Heck yeah, there's Shannon's boat. sit up straight. Ish. There's only so straight you can sit when you're as gay as I am, but anyway. Volcano way. better place to start. All right. The little cartographer had come up dry looking for her granny in the desert, but she had other burning issues to deal with. How could she warn her granny about the volcano that was about to erupt? And before that, she had to figure out how to get there. Fair enough. Pashele is cursed, I tell you. While exploring his labyrinthine halls, I came across a floor sign bearing no number but an ominous question mark instead. I ran to the stairwell in a panic, only to discover that the floors above and below it were equally unmarked. I saw rooms I'd never seen before on these unknown floors and fled in terror from the shock. I will never return to that unholy place. Well... I do know how to make the... The water seekers were hard revered in their tribe, being responsible for survival of their people. This resolute group would seek out new water sources, often journeying far from home. Their senses were highly attuned to the desert environment around them to aid them in their search. Once a new water source was located, their tribe would migrate to join them, camels and all. Well, I do know how to make the floors mysterious, and that is no lobby for you. Yeah. 
Cherub. Yeah, we brought him a little uh, sapling. Many years before Cherub became the 256th Watcher, Cherub was a small, beardless Cherub. Cherub did not make friends easily, and would spend many afternoons exploring the woods by Cherub's self. One fateful afternoon, Cherub followed a sad hooting noise and found an outlet stuck in an animal trap. Cherub freed the outlet and disassembled the trap, turning it into a stretcher to carry the outlet until it healed. Cherub and Cherub's owl companion were never apart after that day, and now tend to mother together. Yeah! roots stretched across the forest as she grew and far beyond. They grew along hidden paths, making their way to distant lands across the world. These paths were subtle and obscured to all but the most intrepid explorers. Only the trees knew how to access them, and they didn't speak. Much. Carrying an earthworm companion and a great big bushy beard, Lempa the Messenger was chosen as the 255th Watcher. Lempa and his earthworm patrolled the wildwood for decades, steadfast friends and protectors of mother. Sadly, an errant sparrow snatched the earthworm from his shoulder, leaving him alone with the trees for the remainder of his watch. Aww. Though to this day, the countless progeny of Lempa's earthworm friend crawl beneath our feet, hungry for dirt and ready to help. That would be the one that we have currently in our bag. I guess, or one of, one of them, anywho. Volcanologists are divided on the accuracy of the scientific basis of the volcanic calendar, or the volcano calendar. Proponents of the calendar claim that it's been an invaluable planning resource for countless generations, while detractors dismiss it as a bunch of meaningless nonsense carved onto a wall by some vagabond. In any case, residents of the volcano always seem to, some, to avoid disaster somehow, whether or not they're expecting it. Fair enough. What'd you find? I had just about given up on finding the volcano wing, but it appeared out of nowhere. This is such a strange building. Anyways, I think I found something helpful in this book. Have a look. The volcano is a popular tourist destination due to its temperate weather and world-famous spas. Travelers can take a long way up, ascending its face over the course of several days. Or hope to catch a ride on a friendly member of its thriving mountain goat population. <laughs> Though the fastest, most reliable paths up the volcano lie deep within the forest for those who can find them. It sounds like you can get to the volcano through the forest. If there's a path, I know you'll find it. No one is better at finding their way through the world. Cool. Let me go with you? Yes, please. Hmm. Fair enough. cartographer knew where to go next. She'd find her way to the volcano through a path hidden somewhere in the forest. She bid her friend goodbye once more and headed back toward the wildwood. Nothing was going to keep her from, from her granny. Cool. The hottest items, really. Alrighty. Well, if it's the wildwood where we're going... My cat has abandoned me for the couch. So rude. Can't seem to find Cherub. Anything this way? Oh, hello! Boomst. I've seen that bird before. All it does is trip. 
Oh, hello. Another bird. What you doing up there? That bird is on the corner of this tile. Move? No, it's still there. Move on the corner of this tile. Up here. Hmm. More birds? I have to know. It's just an absolutely pointless little quest? Maybe so. Okay, there's another one here. That one I can move. Burp. Heard that bird go chirp. Okay. that I am just obsessively trying to find the birds. Um, okay, so this one's in the bottom right. There's a verb on the square. There's a verb on the square. There's a verb on the square. Just see if that Whoa. Okay, so these two verbs are next to each other. Verb on this tile? Or no. Verb for this tile, I think. Yeah. The birds for on this tile? On an adjacent tile. Oh, I feel dumb. One for this. Well, not. Let me just or something. Mm -hmm. 
Bird is still here. Okay, so Bird is part of this tile. Not this one. The bird was not, in fact, part of this tile. No, it was not. Okay, cool. I'll figure it out in a minute. I'm gonna find all the birds. I swear. side quest to collect all the birds. Do I know if there will be a secret attached to the birds? No. But just in case. Huh, here you are. You're part of this tile. Okay. Any more? zoom out so I can't just check the whole square at once, but that's okay. Mm. Birds for birds. What else are we gonna do at 2 a.m.? Ah! There you are. are a part of this square. All right, get over here. Secret. Quartet. Oh my god. Yes. Okay. <laughs> now that my little side quest is over. Oh, let's put the map back. something new by the round river. Hi. Honestly, valid concern. Time to go find Vulture Man. I like this big old round river that I've created. Fun to trap myself. Hey, hey. 
one was actually here that one time, but... Go track down Vulture Guy. I like finding secrets, it's entertaining. Over here. parts of the surrounding forestry no does not look like it all right so before i got distracted by having to unite the quartet as it were um all right here we go right we have the charm that lets the the has the trees move aside yeah hey, trees for someone. Mushroom. Hello and welcome to Distraction. Oh. What is this? A path? Just path back out. Trees. Hey! Oh, there's the vulture. Hey, Cherub. I'll, uh, um, okay. I think I might uh, get myself to a stopping point and start getting ready for bed as well, though. I love you. I oh will. Thank you. 
visit the sapling. <laughs> yeah, the ghost lily. I'm glad that it's turned into such a nice sapling. Alright, well... Oh, I see. Russell, 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 Russell. I'm bothering all the trees. Heavy to move yourself. Well, I guess that just means we have to borrow Bear Friend for a minute. Right, back in the tunnels. Let's see, where can it? Not that one, apparently. It is. Go. Cat has got her head turned upside down while she's sleeping. It's incredibly cute. like stopping at the moment. You know, I think I'm gonna keep going for a little while. original torch bracket is. I 
need to put the torch back. Alright, cool. Now what? Yeah, you said the mountain's alive, but, uh... I guess. Oh. <laughs> Take any of the other torches? No? All right. Torch in this section, two torches in this section, three torches in this section, and four torches. There we go. Yeah, let me just run back and forth until my brain uh, fully processes what's going on. Yes. jump into the on fire hole. It worked. <laughs> Secret tunnel. <laughs> I'm sure you know what I'm referencing. <laughs> it kind of does. But what if I wanna? Rude. So I wonder, is it a secret per- it's not a secret per chapter because there are ten chapters. That's a goat. Yes, I rather figured that would be the case. Seems mildly offended. Calling it rude names. Well, that'll do it. I bet. Mm 
<laughs> Please don't eat it. I mean, I don't know that I'd try. see. Can't move the wrap map around from here. Cool. Good to know. That means I gotta go through here. Why they have to tell people not to eat it. All right, minimal scaldings. Canyon. No. I remember this correctly. All 
Sorry, burb. Five, wow. Creepy goats are adorable. Yeah, the horizontal pupils are a bit of a thing to get used to, but they're adorable. Some of them are jerks, though. your spiciest water. An ostrich. There's a little speaker on the side of that one. like thing made by the devil. The stone pillow. Sure, I can fix that.
Ash you with a chance of fireballs. Pleasant. Fair enough. like thing. Distrust. Transport is not over here. I guess I have to... In the wrong direction. Good friend. Go, please be my friend. A goat. A carrot. Go. Mew. It's fantastic. <laughs> 
Nope, nope, oh shit. Don't like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just like fully clothed, backpack and all. I think it'll just take me over here. Okay, yeah. Cool. 
My car too. Did you see that eruption? What a sight. I just barely escaped. The volcano seemed to move at the last moment. How fortunate. Or perhaps you're getting better with your math? You clever girl. I hope you got away safely too. I'm not convinced anyone knows how to read that dang calendar. The smoke is making it a bit hard to navigate. My engine is close to overheating. There's an iceberg at the edge of the world. I'm gonna swim. there's anything else to do here really or maybe go uh check out the volcano calendar the hot springs area. at all. See if there's anything back where the goats live. Silly? Maybe. Maybe so. Goats! No, that's no, okay. Kitchens one more time. Secrets. I don't know if I can cover the secrets in this particular zone. Oh well. <laughs> no, not what I intended. Back on the goat. In a grassland again, or in a forest again.
real quick. The little cartographer returned from the volcano only lightly singed. She needed to meet her granny on an iceberg and no idea how to get there. But first, a good friend needed her help. Come on. works. <laughs> Sorry, it's been a bit of an evening. Unfortunately, it doesn't count your number of moves, so it really doesn't matter too awful much. It's got new rooms in it. Just, um... Swap those around. Yep. Is there anything to read on? No. Ice area. Iceberg dwelling a demanding lifestyle choice, but an entirely unpredictable one. Running into a friend might be the last time you see them for a while if the icebergs don't drift together again. Residents install supply boxes of essential tools and food, i.e. sea pickles, on every iceberg in case anyone were to get stranded. Nice. The legend of the seventh iceberg has been passed down for countless generations. What was once an ancient document lives on only in story, recounted by the archaeologist book, to whomever will listen. The story says that the iceberg contains a treasure to improve the lives of all people living at the edge of the world. Legend though it might be, Luak is dedicated to his existence to finding the treasure and never giving up hope. There's a reason why people of a certain tribe can never return home after they sail for their coming of age. It used to be that some who left would try to sail home only to be thwarted by the ocean or bad weather. Their families would never know the truth of what happened or assume they didn't want to visit. 
By following this new tradition, parents can better prepare for the pain of never seeing their children again. It will never be easy, but they'll know what to expect. A tough but needed tradition. Oof. Shortly after her best friend, the little cartographer, left the story chalet, the blue-haired girl's mind started to drift. She imagined her people back on her island, laughing and fishing, and she missed them greatly. She made up her mind to return home to visit them and set off to sail. However, she was quickly thwarted by a heavy ocean fog, and her compass stopped working. She tried several times in vain before giving up and sadly sailing back to the story chalet. Though she wasn't the type to give up so easily, the blue-haired girl decided that she would look through every book in the chalet, until she found a way to navigate home. She headed downstairs and started rifling through the books. Spending their days living within and full of soil, most earthworms are experts on the matter. It is said that if you give soil to a worm, they can point you towards its source. Though not all worms are created equal, and some are more accurate than others, many of them led astray by an overeager yet unskilled worm. But for those looking for a little help finding their way home, the right worm can be an invaluable companion. Hmm. cartographer and her friend were set to sail. They returned to the island where they began with the help of a wriggly companion. And somewhere far beyond that, Granny's iceberg loomed large. Oh. Well. So many different uh, places to go. Let's I'm going to call it for the evening. Um, if anybody happens to be there, have a lovely evening. Uh, have a good sleep whenever that happens for you. And I will hopefully see you another time. Have a good night.